Okay, this video is on salts that dissolve in water and they end up making what are called coordination complexes. And uh, there's, it's known that almost all transition metals do this um, and the resulting coordination complex actually acts like a weak acid. So it's kind of like a three-step process and uh, I'll go over uh, one example and then I'll show you like generalized rules on how this works. So, um, here, here's the example that I have. So let's say we have a salt, like we have um, aluminum chloride. So the formula would be AlCl3. This is known to be so, uh, soluble. So you drop this in water and then it forms this aluminum with the three plus and so let's write Aq plus Cl minus and then Aq. Um, so what's gonna happen is, so this would be like step one, the dissociation let me write that out. So this is the dissociation of the salt. Um, and the next thing that happens is the formation of the complex ion. So that's the next thing. Formation of the complex ion. Um, and uh, what's going to happen is this this will go on to act like what's called a Lewis acid, the aluminum. So let me, I'll make a note of that. So the Al3 plus acts like what's called a Lewis acid. And a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. Electron pair acceptor um, and water is going to act like what's called a Lewis base which you might be guessing is an electron pair donator so this actually expands what the definition it actually expands the definition of what a acid and base are beyond uh, the Bronsted Lowry definition so let me show you what happens. Uh, the aluminum is, this is electron deficient. So let's make a note of that. This species right here is electron deficient. So it like really likes electrons, like craving electrons right now. And water has some electrons. It has two lone pairs. So I'm gonna draw the Lewis structure for water and it's got lone pair here and here. And what's going to happen is these lone pairs are going to start to form covalent bonds with the aluminum. So that red arrow I just drew is this electron pair donator. So this electron pair, uh, this electron pair is going to be donating the, those electrons to the aluminum and make a covalent bond. And it actually happens uh, a lot. It actually happens six times. And you get the resulting compound. So we're going we're gonna to draw aluminum. And it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six waters attached. That's five and then six. And if you remember from um, how to calculate formula charges, remember a formula charge is the number of valence electrons minus uh, dots plus dashes. So uh, oxygen has six valence. So and remember, each one of these is still going to have a lone pair on the oxygen. So it used one of, one of the lone pairs to make the new bond with the metal. And so it's going to go 6 minus 2. So it will be 6 minus 2, 3, 4, 5. So each oxygen, and each oxygen will be the same. So each oxygen will actually carry a plus 1. And this is also a plus 1. 
So no one really writes this whole ion out. So this is actually the same thing as this. It's it's a uh, you could write it out like this: Al parentheses H2O, and then six, and then the sum of all the charges is actually six plus. So you're supposed to put this whole thing in brackets and write six plus on the outside. Um, and this is what's called a, this right here is called a complex ion or a coordination complex. And this can actually go on to act like an acid. That's the third step here. So the coordination complex... ...behaves like a Bronsted-Lowry acid. So it could go on to donate a proton. So one of these, it doesn't really matter which water, but one of these can now jump, uh, dissociate and act like, uh, and act like an acid. So and it has a measurable Ka and everything, so it's a weak acid. So the aluminum ion, I'm not going to draw the whole thing out again, so I'll just write the coordination complex, the uh, condensed formula. And this will uh, do equilibrium with this. H2O5, and one of these will dissociate, and what you have left is actually the OH attached to it. So you write parentheses OH and there's one of those. So there's going to be one of those. So there's going to be one OH and then one, two, three, four, five waters. So that's where you get the five right here and then the OH. And, um, and then the H is the other product. So we're going to write that just like any other acid. Um, and notice the charge will also go down so if this h breaks off now it's now you just have oh attached and then the oxygen is following the honk rule so there's no formal charge now on that oxygen so the charge becomes a five and you get a proton so we'll make a note of that so this right here can now dissociate and that's that's what we have here in step three. All right, so um, I have so that's the third third thing. So there's a um, there's a rule here for what charge it makes and the number of this is called a, a ligand, the Lewis base. So this right here is called this has a name. It's called a ligand. And there's a rule to tell the number of ligands that bind. So the number of ligands that bind is equal to 2 times the charge of the uh, charged metal, or 2 times the charge of the cation. So <clears throat> this was a this was a three, and the number of waters that uh, binded onto it was six because two times the charge is is going to be six. So that's the number of uh, ligands that bind. Um, the second thing you'll need to know is so that's point number one. Actually, let's just put star and then two stars. The other thing to know about this is. Uh, the the charge on the overall species is let's see is the sum of all the formal charges so the charge on the coordination complex is the sum of all the formal charges. 
Okay, so let's go to an example for you guys to try. So it says, uh, first dissociate the ion. So let's say we have this. We have um, iron, iron 2 chloride. Okay, so first dissociate this ion. So you need to write three reactions. So one, show the dissociation. Exactly what I what I did in the example. And two, now write the metal and its coordination complex with water. So do that here. And then show a third reaction um, behaving like a weak acid. So this one should show equilibrium. Give you a couple pointers here. Um, this should be one, one arrow, so dissociating is one arrow if it's fully soluble. Um, and then write the metal ion and its coordination complex with water. So show the reaction with water. Basically what I just did. Okay, and I'll uh, see what you guys come up with. That's the end of our tutorial.